Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Hope you're uh, staying off the uh, slick ice and the slush and the slop. Ugh, it's kind of yucky out, isn't it? Personally, I prefer the, it just, if it's going to be winter, I just like it to stay frozen. <laughs> Wait for this warm up slop until we just have to deal with it in March or April or whatever. But anyway, we'll, uh, it's life, huh? So, excuse me. Um, so yeah, we're going to. Uh, I'm going to give you some uh, some some heads up here on uh, where we're headed this uh, this week. We're bringing back this tune. Um, we believe from Stephen Curtis Chapman. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, very uh, in the acoustic guitar driven. And this week. Um, Again, as part of what we're doing to bring our uh, high school students uh, involved, get them involved, and bring them along, uh, Spencer Klaus. Oh, Spencer, welcome. Glad to have you on board this week, and you'll be playing alongside Kara. So that will be so fun for, because I think the two of you can um, match strumming patterns pretty well. And um, so this on this song is just super acoustic driven just kind of watch the uh, video with Stephen Curtis and you kind of get a flavor for the vibe on this thing so yeah it's fun and um, on the keys Sharon it's got I wrote on your chart you can hear it um, but uh, in the intro it just and, and the first verse you can kind of listen it has this little figure that just repeats the whole intro which by the way we're gonna double it on the video it's just four bars we're gonna do eight so we can get a little bit more feel. So it kind of has this, let's see. On the keys. Kind of wrote your notes on there, Sharon, but it starts with the C. It's just kind of one and two, three and four. Three and four, three and four. Okay. Um, yeah, it just has that figure. You'll hear it. And that and we'll come up with a nice sound to do that on okay so I'm gonna go ahead and play through it um, it's a fairly long song uh, it just says a lot of good stuff um, it has so the first two verses are really acoustic driven really and actually the whole song is acoustic driven um, but there's it builds for sure first two verses pre-chorus launches us into the first chorus which will be um, then full tilt um, um, so yeah, first, first two verses, there's not a lot of drive to it other than the acoustics. So, uh, um, trying to think Sharon, if we have the pad even in on that, probably, yeah, we'll probably have the pad, but I'm going to not be driving hard on the piano at all. And bass is simple, electric, not a whole lot going on until we kick it into gear into the, into the chorus. So first one, verse two, pre-chorus, chorus, and then the interlude. 1A, but just kind of as a kind of like a tag. We believe, we believe. And then go on to verse three. And then there's a, a second pre-chorus that is different than the first. So you just follow it on your on your chart. Um, then it goes back to the chorus. And then after the chorus, jump to the second page to the second interlude, interlude one B. We believe we believe because the chords are different than the first interlude. And the words are too. Um, and then we go into bridge one. And if our faith is weak, God help our unbelief. For you are faithful, God, you are faithful. And that, again, volume level is going to come down there. And and um, just intensity just a little bit. And if our faith is weak. Got to get in right key. Get some volume here. And if faith is weak. God help our unbelief. You are faithful. So let's drive. Faithful. And if our faith is weak. First pass through. A little simple, softer. And then the second pass through, we can build it, build it. Okay. Um, and then it gets, then it goes down even another level, several levels down into bridge two, and that's almost a total breakdown where it's just pad and the drum drive stops out. Derek, it stops for the first pass if you remember, 
You say, come, and here we are, lifting up hands and hearts to worship you, to tell you we believe. And right there, so it's diamonds kind of and just extended chords. Right there on the second pass, you come back in with the kick. We believe, two, three, four, one. You say, come, right there on come. So the first time through, there's an extra measure. And we sing, and you say, come. We sing, and you say, come, the first two times only. And the second two times, it just goes, and here we are. So let me just verify that for you. It's a little confusing on your chart, Sharon. So the first time, and you say, come. And here we are, lifting up hands and hearts to worship you to tell you we believe three four one two you say come right there boom doom doom and here we booming thing up kick us in hands and hearts to worship you to tell you we believe third time and here we are lifting up hands and hearts to worship you to tell you we believe one more time and here we are lifting up hands and hearts to worship you to tell you we believe we believe and right there to tell you we believe and then it jumps right back into the chorus and that chorus there the first of two at the end um, the first half of it will be a breakdown course. So Derek, keep it going strong, but the rest of us are out. We believe, we believe, mm, 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 believe. You are good, you have conquered the grave, taken our sin away, and then we're all back in here. We believe, we believe. I think acoustics are still going um, with the drums on that breakdown, so just acoustic and drums. Maybe I'm wrong. Double check it and listen to it and see. We'll kind of feel that out. But definitely a breakdown. First half of the second to last chorus. You come in, do another full chorus with the um, full band, and then the outro. We believe, we believe. We believe, we believe. Four times. We believe, we believe. time we believe okay it's pretty straightforward once you get the I keep singing makes my nose itch I think it's just really strange so when I do this I'm sorry I know I don't have a cold I'm not running but it just itches all the time so okay so hopefully that's pretty uh, pretty straightforward okay God my rock um, we've done this this has uh, become one of our favorites and we're gonna do it pretty much standard except at the end um, and you'll see why but uh, um, yeah it starts uh, in Christopher Yarn Electric so again it'll be Derek and Christopher kind of get it started it starts with the you know however much you want to do that down do 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 you know kind of that intro thing and the intro chords for the rest of the band once the electric lead comes in are is the chorus chords starting on the D and uh, it's two bars per chord one two three four two two three four two two three four two three D minor seven My heart is overwhelmed, I will... Yep. Okay. Verse 1, pre-chorus, chorus. chorus. Uh, verse 2, pre-chorus. Chorus 2, over on the next page. And then when we finish chorus 2, take the first inning. No other love so true, Jesus, I trust in you. And it goes to the instrumental. Which again, two bars per chord. One, two, three, four. Two, three, and two bars.
bars on the A, two bars on the B minor, electric guitar solo, and then it kind of gets soft at the end, too. and we do verse one again, down. When my heart is overwhelmed, I will look to you alone, God my rock, God my rock, God my rock, you will stand when this fall starts to build faithful through it all got my rock got my rock got my remember we hold this one rock one two three and you are the strength of my heart break down and then we're all strong back in on that a you are the strength of my heart i can rely on you rely on you you are the joy of my life you are my song in the night. No other love so true. Jesus, I trust in you. Okay, second ending. And here's where it gets different. Normally, we go into the ending right there. Jesus, we trust in you. I want to go back to the instrumental. And um, um, maybe even just repeat the intro, um, Christopher. Jesus, I trust in you. Same thing as the intro, only getting softer. Two bars per chord. And then I want, then, after that instrumental eight bar pass, um, I want to sing the ending. And what I'm doing, normally we ended it kind of up. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. And it's kind of big and up. Because um, I want to set up moving into the next song, which I'm going to kind of marry with this one. Um, I want to I want to change the melody and make it easier to sing for everybody and bring it down. So uh, listen carefully. Same chord progression, same words just gonna make it easier to sing. So after that instrumental break, B minor, one, two, three, four, okay? We're gonna start down here nice and comfy. Jesus, we trust in you. And then step it down. Jesus, we trust in you. And then back up. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Okay, here that goes one more time. Jesus, we trust in you. 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 So we'll kind of demonstrate that um, and then have the congregation sing. We may do it twice, we do it three times total. But I want to use that to transition in the next song. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, for trust and obey. Um, um, I've always loved this song and we don't sing it very much. There's some really, really great, <laughs> great words to it. And um, so I kind of did what I do sometimes a lot of the time is I just kind of tweaked it a little bit, put a little new dress on it, put a little lower key so it's easier to sing. And um, yeah, and it marries so nice with um, God My Rock. That's why we're doing God My Rock up in B, uh, which is a little higher. I'd like it. I like it a little better in C normally, but um, D is the original key. Um, but Trust and Obey is, is in F. And so um, I lowered that down to D, so I kind of had to meet, I wanted to meet um, with God my rock, and we kind of met there. So so pastor's talking, he's going to have a tithing message, which is always so powerful. And, and, and bottom line, tithing issue, it just boils down to do we trust God or not? Do we trust him? <laughs> you know, he's, he, do we, do we or not? If we, by hanging on to, to, uh, to, to the tithe, we're basically saying, I don't trust you, God. So then we're just going to really hit this trust trust theme on Sunday. So 
we just come out of that last song, you know, where I just taught you that new mel melody. Jesus, we trust in you. 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 Okay. And then um, let me just kind of give you the flavor and the feel of trust and obey. It, it, um, it's typically in 3-4. I've changed it to 4-4, four, four, and it's 120 beats a minute, which sounds like it's fast, but it it, it doesn't sing fast, okay? It, it, it has this kind of, I kind of rock on this from the D to the C sharp in the intro. So you kind of, but the chords, it, uh, you'll see it there. So let's get the right tempo. Yeah. So it's, it's faster click tempo than the last song, but it doesn't feel fast, okay? So one, two, it would feel like this. We trust in you, Jesus. We trust in you, oh Jesus. We trust in you, Jesus. We trust in you.
Jesus, we trust in you. Something like that. I don't know. Um, I didn't set out to do this. I really didn't. It just, it just kind of happened, and I, I just I was like, "Whoa, those, whoa, those two really kind of fit." <laughs> and so, anyway, I I, I trust that um, I trust the Lord's in that and gonna use that. So um, I love that. I love that. Uh, second verse we can we can never prove the delights of his love until all on the altar we lay for the favor he shows and the joy he bestows are for them who will trust and obey i love that love that anyway so um i wanted to just play through that whole song for you i'll do it again probably on the run through but um yeah we're just gonna kind of kind of get the vibe of it and um obviously we'll um, the last verse, I'd like to kind of start it softly and build it to the end. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll play with that. We just kind of chords aren't too hard. So hopefully that'll, that'll work. Okay. After we finish the, uh, Jesus, you know, just focusing on trust, um, trust in Jesus, we're going to um again remind ourselves of of just who we're trusting in and and just hit the classic revelation song and i i uh i'm brewing on this scripture that i would i think i'd like us to read um it's pretty heavy <laughs> pretty heavy hitting i love this but uh you know pastor was just in hebrews 10 and and the verse is right after um not neglecting to meet together and do it all the more as you see the day approaching. Um, starting in verse 32 to the end of the chapter. Um, instead, think back to the days after you were first enlightened. Okay, first love stuff. And understood who Jesus was. When you endured all sorts of suffering in the name of the Lord. When people held you up for public scorn and ridicule or when they abused your partners and companions in the faith. Remember how you had compassion for those in prison and how you cheerfully accepted the seizure of your possessions. What a statement. What a statement. You cheerfully accepted the seizure of your possessions. knowing that you have a far greater and more enduring possession. Remember this, and do not abandon your confidence, which will lead to rich rewards. Simply endure, for when you have done as God requires of you, you will receive the promise. As the prophet Habakkuk said, in a little while, only a little longer, the one who is coming will come without delay. But my righteous one must live by faith, for if he gives up his commitment, my soul will have no pleasure in him. My friends, we are not those who give up hope, and, and so are lost. But we are of the company who live by faith, and so are saved. Whoa. This is the voice translation, which is a newer translation, and it it, it well it kind of and that those scriptures are pa are powerful, but anyway, but I, it just kind of mm, says it in such a way that it packs a punch. So I think we're gonna read that, and um, and then just flow right into uh, Revelation song. Let's just do it straight up. I need to talk you through this one. You guys know this backwards and forwards probably, but uh, um, we typically repeat the first verse, okay? So we'll do verse one twice, chorus, and in between each, after each chorus, we have the instrumental, right? And uh, uh, of course,
course, gets super soft at the end, at the beginning of verse three, so that we can really build to Jesus. Your name is power, breath of living, breath and living water. Such a marvelous mystery. And we typically um, do the chorus twice and big um, at the end. Okay. Okay, here we are at Oceans. Whoa, hadn't done this for a while. Um, we're going to end the set here. And uh, this song is always, it's always powerful. So I think uh, um, it'll be especially powerful since we haven't done it for a long time. So we'll work on figuring out who's going to sing what and all that um, in a little bit. I uh, haven't made those, those decisions. But uh, just... The only um, um, tweaks I'll make is, is shortening it just a little bit, but uh, you know, we start. We're coming out of the uh, Revelation song. You know, we're on the B leaf already, and so uh, Sharon always had to be on the pad and and playing those that open D, just the fifth. You know, the B and the A and the B, and just holding that and just and, we, and then just let that sit there for a while. And then come underneath it with you. You just keep playing that. And I'll come underneath you. And Robert has that dissonance going on. Or we do it a couple of times. And then gals will start. Either I'll have a solo or have you all do it. I'm not sure yet. We'll... But obviously, you know how to, how this goes, starting soft and and the first one chorus, and then the instrumental builds into the instrumental. With the electric guitar. Stronger. Then in route one it goes into instrumental two. And then we uh, play instrumental two twice, get soft, and then we do the whole spirit lead me for my trust is without borders. And uh, they do it six times on the recording. We're gonna back it off to four. So we'll do the and the chord progressions are there's three different chord progressions for the same lyric pattern. So we'll do the first one, the bridge one A twice starts with the B minor and goes to the G and then the D and then the A and then we'll do the bridge 1B once and bridge 1C once and then when we finish that in the presence of my Savior my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior and we'll just kind of hold that out while the band comes in back in interlude two and we're gonna play through this and I have totally fine with you know singing what's on your heart here I don't like copying ad-libs that just is a real um, <laughs> yeah I don't like when you know, people are doing something that is heartfelt and from their heart, and then we, you know, and then we, then we try to transcribe it and put it on the paper, and then we try to. Anyway, I don't need to get all that, but anyway, I'm fine with um, us being having some spontaneous from your own heart kind of stuff, but I just don't like copying someone else's ad lib. That just anyway. Make sense? I hope. Um, so uh, we'll talk more about that. But just, uh, and then it comes back to, I will call upon your name. Uh, chorus to end it. And, uh, and the ending with the chord progression there. Okay. All right.